uploading with Blogsy. Okay, I know some people don't like to hot link to images from other sites, so now we've solved that problem for you guys. Go ahead and do your Google image search. Here I just did Google image search of blog. And once you see the listing, you can choose, like normal, you can choose to drag it over into your post, or now you'll see Save to Library. Just drag it over this box to Save to Library, and you can see it's saving. And depending on the image size, uh, it'll download and save. Uh, how much time it takes depends on that. And now you'll see it's in your local library. Now you can do the same thing with the Safari browser. So go to your site where you have the image, hold your finger down on the image until you see FOMO, and then you'll get the pop-up. Drag it over that, let go, and it'll save it locally. So now you can choose to drag it into your post or save it locally and then upload and you host the image yourself. So now let's take a look at our photo library. Here you'll see all the albums the same way you would if you went through your native photo app. We're going to go saved photos <clears throat> and you can see the two images I just saved to the local directory. Also, I'm going to give you one more example here. Let's do a screen capture. If you do a screen capture, you don't see it here in the local. In this situation, when you do a screen capture, you have to use a different service, go out to a different service, get it to load, and then you can go back into your local library and it will refresh and then you'll see the capture. So the image capture is there, is now there. And as many of you know, when you do image captures, they turn out to be sideways. So everybody wants them turned into the orientation they want. So you can see these down here, we can cycle through them, or we could have gone the other way, but whoops, I went this way. Now, it's the orientation we want, and when you start the orientation, it'll give you save as new. And always, it'll also give you the width and the height of the image, so you know that information. So, save as new, and it's saving. As soon as it's done, it shows up instantly. And, like you just saw, we give you the ability to look at images full size. So you can decide which images from your local uh, iPad photo library that you want to use. Okay, so now these we'll use these images. You can drag the images over to the particular blog you want, or the Flickr account, or the Picasa account. You will get an envelope for every blog you set up. You'll get an envelope for every Flickr account you set up, and you'll get an envelope for every Picasa account you set up. And where you choose to upload the images is really up to you. So let's say we want to upload these two images to, let's say, here. Okay, and you can see, oh, I have them in two. I, I actually want it to be in the Blogsy blog, not in my Modeling Life blog. So you can tap on it, and you'll get a listing of all the images you're going to upload to that. And you can just delete it by hitting the X button. And then you see it comes back, and now it's gone. <clears throat> and you can, at the same time, if you so choose, you can do to uh, different, different sites. So you can choose to actually upload to different sites at the same time. So let's go with that. Let's just upload these three images. It's all ready. Tap on Upload. tells you how many images you've selected. Tap on Upload. The envelopes fly away, and then you'll start to see the progression. And with WordPress, because of some programming, you don't see a progression bar. But with Flickr and Picasa, when you do uploads, you'll actually see the progression bar. So right there, you saw that now it's done uploading that image. And now that image is uploaded. So both of those are WordPress. But actually, this one was the Flickr account, and you can see the progression bar. And while it's uploading, you don't have to sit here and watch. You can actually go over here, start typing your post or whatever you want to do, and uh, you can even start new posts, whatever you want to do, and then come back here. When you're done actually writing your whole post, your images should be uploaded, and you can drag them into your post. So you can just drag them in like you would normally. Okay, But obviously, <laughs> this was a very large image that you uploaded, so you tap on it scale it down, put it, get it to the image size that you want to get it to. Okay.
let's say, that image size. Now, one other thing <clears throat> that we did that we're really kind of proud of. In the API, they don't allow you to access your WordPress media uh, image or your media library. But Blogsy will remember every image you upload to your media library from within Blogsy. That's what this button is. So you can see here, these, these are the two images we just uploaded to Blogsy Blog. And as long as you don't delete Blogsy from your iPad, it'll always remember that. So you'll always have access to your media library items that you uploaded from within Blogsy. And it will do it for any WordPress account. And your, your Flickr and Picasa uploads will show under the Flickr and Picasa accounts. So that is uploading with Blogsy.